Hello and welcome to Ultimate Cruising's onboard interview series where we discover the most beautiful locations, whether on water or on land, idyllic or adventurous. I'm Marina Rowe and today I have Deb from Penant Cruises with us. Welcome back Deb. Thank you so much for having me. Deb, what's so special about Penant Cruises? Our spirit of adventure. It's in our DNA. We've been cruising the world for 30 years and our philosophy is all about trying to get guests to areas that the larger ships don't access. And that spirit of adventure is well and truly alive with us. It's also a sense of freedom and a unique atmosphere that you feel on board. It's like you're cruising on your own private yacht. So you're really getting into those remote destinations, those areas, the hidden harbours, tiny coves that the larger ships just can't get into. It's wonderful. So quite an intimate experience. <laughs> Absolutely, without a doubt. And on that, we only take 200 passengers on board. So when you talk about small ship cruising, we're really more like a floating boutique personalised French hotel that will bring the destinations to you and make the countries come alive. Wow, well that leads me to my next question. What are some of your favourite destinations and why are they great? Oh, it's such a hard question. It's like asking me who's my favourite child. Uh, impossible. Uh, Pandon has uh, created so many unique itineraries and we've won that many awards for our um, unique experiences that we bring to clients. But if I was going to choose my top three, I would say the first would be in the Indonesian islands, um, visiting the Komodo dragons and seeing the Komodo dragons in their natural habitat. That was incredible. Um, my second top destination would be the Bijigos Archipelago, um, where we met the Badiogo people on the west coast of Africa. And that was a real once in a lifetime bucket list. And my third top would be swimming with turtles in the Aldebra Atoll, which is part of the Seychelles region. I mean, there's many, many more, but they would be my, my top three. Sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. So all your vessels are top notch, but can you tell me a bit more about the service and what someone would expect on a Ponant cruise? Well, our service is very refined. It's discreet and luxurious and it's got a beautiful French touch which permeates throughout the ship. So our interior designer, Jean-Philippe Newell, has the most amazing ability to bring in natural light throughout every area of the ship. So you don't actually feel as though you're on a ship. Uh, you feel as though you were really on a floating resort. And with that comes um, beautiful uh, stateroom amenities. So you'll get Hermes products in your stateroom. We have um, beautiful facilities on board like the Sotis Bar. Uh, we have um, a gorgeous main lounge, which is in many ways the heart of the ship. That's really where our French way of life comes alive. So we have handmade pastries and croissants for the early risers. Uh, it's a great place to meet people during the day. And in the evening you can enjoy cocktails and dance the night away. Um, my personal favourite is the bar at the front of the ship. I love sitting there during the day and watch where the captain and the officers are going. And at night it's an absolute daily ritual for me to have a glass of champagne and listen to our piano player trickle the, the, the ivories and um, enjoy beautiful grand piano um, songs. That's really lovely. We have two beautiful restaurants on board. We have a state-of-the-art theatre and the theatre is really special for us because we do expedition cruising and we're the world leader in expedition cruising but we're also converting and being just as comfortable in small ship cruising around Mediterranean for example. It's really important that the theatre is there because that's where our expedition team tell our clients as much as they want to learn about the destination. So that theatre is used for talks, um, for um, special introductions to the destinations that they're going to see and we also have our singers and dancers on board which will have beautiful shows there and we'll also show some films. So lots of beautiful um, amenities on board, uh, beautiful pool, gym and anything else in between. So really big ship facilities 
on a small ship, which is very unusual to get. Mm. So it sounds like you can do everything or you can do nothing. Exactly, the choice is yours, it's perfect. Okay, and is there anything new in store for 2019 in the way of vessels or destinations? We have so much in store. We are going on a massive growth spurt at the moment. Uh, we are building, uh, we've currently got six ships and we're actually building other five. So by 2021, we'll have 12 ships cruising the world. We have the youngest, most environmentally friendly fleet cruising the world today. Uh, we have four sister ships. Uh, which approximately hold about 200 people. But what we've done, um, two years ago, we realised that there was a niche in the marketplace and we've made a strategic decision to actually build six new Explorer vessels. State of the art, uh, innovative equipment on board, environmentally friendly, of course. And one of those vessels has actually just been launched in July in Iceland. And her name is Lola Perus, and she's making her way over to Asia Pacific and she's gonna be our baby. Uh, she's gonna be in our home. She's gonna make Darwin her home port and do a beautiful series in the Kimberley. So we're super excited about that. As I talk today, Le Chaplain is doing sea trials in Norway and she's our second explorer to come into the marketplace. Next year, we're launching two more explorers, the following year, another two, and then in 2021, we release our beautiful hybrid explorer ship, which will take people further to the North Pole than anyone has ever gone before. So we're actually going to be taking guests to the geographic North Pole of 90 degrees and further south into the Antarctic Peninsula than any other ship has been before. So it's really groundbreaking uh, news that we're doing and we're able to do that because we're a company of sailors and we started 30 years ago with our CEO and president John Emmanuel having been a captain at sea and really having that entrepreneurial exploration experience and that uh, yearn and passion for discovery and that's really what is uh, feeding this expansion that we have today so 12 ships coming, uh, we're the leader in luxury expeditions, we've been in the polar areas for over 20 years, we've been in the tropics for many, many years as well, and we're very excited about our new ships. But not only that, we've also got new destinations that our beautiful new ships are going to visit. So we're opening up areas where People have really not travelled before too, um, and especially not doing it in a small ship. So we're going to places like the Mexican Riviera, we're going to the Sea of Cortez, we're opening up more areas in the Bidjigos Archipelago, we're going to more areas in the Seychelles, we're visiting the Great Lakes of North America, we're going to up further to the Amazon than ever before, we're also exploring the Orinoco rivers. But not only that, we're also getting deeper and more closely to the heart of destinations. So we'll be actually exploring London under cruising under Thames, the, the London's Tower Bridge, up the Thames River. So when you see London our, on our itinerary, it's not Southampton. When you see Dubrovnik on our itineraries, it's not an hour away from Dubrovnik. We're actually right in the heart. When you see St. Petersburg, we're right there in the old city, Bordeaux, and it keeps on going on. So we have so many new areas, Chilean fjords, um, the list goes on and on. Well, it's certainly going to be difficult to make a choice on those places. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, Deb, thank you for your time today. Before you go, one last question. Uh, cruising is obviously quite different to any other form of holiday. Why would you recommend cruising? Because the destinations are brought to you and we'll be able to get you closer to the planet than ever before. So all I can say is let Penant be your guide and let us awaken your sense of wonder because it really will change your world. Well, there you have it. Please share this video with someone looking for a great experience like no other. Like our Facebook page or sign up to our newsletter on ultimatecruising.com.au for more great content about cruising.